The big business story of the year, what else? The rise of AI, artificial intelligence. But it's not just a business story. It is also making big waves in education. And it's changing not only how students learn, but how they work. Maybe how they cheat. Let's talk about it a little bit more. Joining us is Steve Daly, CEO of Instructure. You may not know them, but if you have kids, you probably know their Canvas software for schools. A lot of us got very acclimated to it during uh, COVID, obviously, Steve. So thank to you and your team for helping educate our kids during uh, some tough times there. How is AI changing, I mean, literally everything? Because I can see great uses for it in learning, and I can see some not so great uses. Yeah, you know, it's a uh, it's a great question, and it's it's one that educators have been, you know, asking since, you know, for the last year. Uh, and it really it initially started out with, you know, an approach of fear. Well, oh, no, everybody's going to be cheating. Everybody's, you know, I can't ask a, a student to write an essay question, uh, uh, question now because they're just going to use AI to generate it. I think the 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 tide has shifted a little bit. Uh, and uh, what we're seeing with educators is that they're really starting to understand that, look, when a student gets out into the workplace, they're going to be using this technology. Uh, they're going to, so we ought to be teaching them how to use it uh, effectively, how to use it responsibly. And so we're seeing a lot of changes in how uh, teachers are trying to as assess uh, learning. And, and, and so there's a couple areas that we, we're investing in, that we're investing with partners. One is uh, student helps. And so we, did, we announced a partnership with Khan Academy. Uh, they have Conmigo, which is a uh, a virtual tutor. It, it 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 rather than kind of writing the essay for the student, it actually walks them through the the learning process. So it'll ask them questions: what what key points do you want to make? What references do you want to use? And it'll help them write write their essays. On the teacher side, I think this is going to open up a ton of productivity within yeah. the teacher ranks. So there's an opportunity. We, you know, we're investing in. Uh, helping teachers write quizzes, all right? It, for example, you know, I want to ask a question about, you know, Ernest Hemingway's third wife, uh, create a multiple choice question and have three distractor uh, answers within that. And so really take some of the 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 work that's really been kind of mundane for teachers yeah. uh, and let the technology do that. Uh, student feedback's another area. When they're grading papers, give them ideas as a, a teacher's assistant on feedback they can give, point students to places within the within the course that they could find the right answer well, to a question maybe they got wrong. Uh, Steve, I believe if you're talking about Hemingway's third wife, I believe that would be the travel writer Martha Gellhorn, if I'm not, <laughs> not mistaken. Well um, done. But I, but I would imagine that AI can be used Let's be clear to cheat, but it can also, I think, be used to help catch students who are cheating. Correct? I mean, it's if any That's students right. are watching out there, you got to know that this software can probably also be used to find out that you are doing some some things that are not so great. Yeah, it it, it it's true. Uh, you know, ultimately, the, there is technology available that um, that can detect. Uh, whether somebody's using AI, although there are a lot of false positives that come up with that with that technology, and it, it, it can be a, a little bit traumatic for a student that gets accused of plagiarism when they didn't use a, a generative AI. So ultimately, I think that's probably the wrong approach to how we how we look at this technology. Uh, and educators are starting to look at it differently. It's it's a little bit like security. Is is you know if we just had virus protection out there trying to detect when when bad bad software was in our environment, that's probably not the right way to do it. We should be looking at behaviors. We should be employing the technology to look at how students are learning rather than just did they use this technology uh, uh, in an untoward way.